Hello everyone, this is Manoj. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll discuss and talk about one of the problem statement which I got in one of my recent ReactJS interviews. So, one of the interviewer gave me this problem statement. If you see the screenshot, we have a list of items, item 1, 2, 3 and 10 and this is a child component and we have to display the sum of these items, whatever we select, alright? But this is a combination of child and parent component. If you come to this problem statement. So here we have, this is a basically React plus TypeScript problem statement. So we have two interfaces. One is for item and one is for items and this toggle item that is an event handler. So this is our child component. So inside we have to render this list like this checkbox and the value and this is our parent component where we have the actual state with this ID value checked and we have property like checked for true and false and whatever whatever items having value checked as true we have to display the sum of this value like 10 plus 3 plus 2 if these items have checked as true alright so we have three basic steps here the first step is we have to treat the list as like this checkbox and the value second we have to display some of all checked items so let's say if this 10 and this 3 will be checked then the total will be 13 over here and finally in the parent component we have this toggle item which is our event handler so this will decide how to change this state and again we have to pass the same state to our child component where we are actually displaying the sum all right so basically we have to achieve three steps so let's start with this first step so here we have to render all our items so we already have a ul so let's start with this so we have items array so items and and items dot map we have to map all our items we have we can clearly see we have visible items but still it's good to have a validation if you don't want we can start from here items dot map but i always use a proper validation here also so in this map basically it will take two items so he, the first one we have to display like item and the index and here we have to return so let's start with this li so whenever we render any list it's good to give a key otherwise you will get a warning so lick key so in here I'm passing index if you want you can also pass this ID because this ID is also unique so index and let's also pass value like item dot value for this li and now as per the screenshot we have to display the checkbox first then the item value so let's create a checkbox so input type checkbox and here we have a property so checked and here I have to give item dot checked so let's copy this paste let's close this and finally we have to display item dot value so if you see so we have checkboxes and we have values and this 10 is checked because for this 10 we have checked as true all right so we have achieved our first step now the second step is sum all the checked item values so if you see in this list we only have one item which is 10 so we have to display the sum here so here again so items and then items first if you see this this list first we have to filter all the items which are having checked as true so items dot filter x dot checked equal equal true so now we have got all the items which are having checked as true then dot reduce so now we have to reduce we have to use reduce to sum all the values all right so here 
accumulator and the second parameter which is x accumulator plus x dot but we have to sum that actual value so this property name so that value comma zero so let's save it so here you can see 10 is only the item which is having checked property as true so it is displaying 10 now if I change this as true again so it, this will display 13 okay so let me change it again to false let's not change the actual state all right so our second step is also completed some all the checked item values so now if you see this third step update state to toggle the item check the value basically what it's saying we have to check this item from the child component and we have to take or we have to write our logic in our parent component so for that we have to send this item or this change event from the child component so here let's come to this child component for that we have to create an event handler so inside this let's create an event handler let's say on change and this on change will take two things first the state no that uh, event so let me give any if you want you could give more specific like react dot change event all right but I'm using any because it will take any event second one is item and that will be a type of this item all right so let me pass item here this one okay because it will give us ID value checked all the properties here if you see for this particular checkbox let's also give on change event on change actually there is a type of mistake on change so from here we have to pass two things first it will generate the event so that is basically checkbox it will generate on change event so in this e we will get all the event properties and methods whatever associated with this particular checkbox element and on this check event we will pass item along with event so this item is coming from this map so we have passed this event and the item so like coming back to our on change so here first we have to pass our change event so how it will get to know that this item is checked or unchecked through this event so first item dot checked is equal to e dot target dot checked so this will tell us this item is checked or unchecked all right now here we have to pass the same item to our toggle item so let's copy this toggle item and pass this updated item okay now if I go back to this here on this third step first let's try to console this what we are getting so console dot log item so if I click here let me clear this console first and if I click on one so we have got one object and that is not being checked I know that reason but as of now if we select two so we are getting that object completely two all right so our event means we are successfully able to pass that particular item from our child component to parent component all right so now let me comment this out and after this console first see if you want you can directly update the state but in react that is not a good or best approach that actually that is a very bad approach to update the state directly so for that what we can have so let's create another object 
and give it a name items copy and object dot assign that is an array and items so basically what we are doing here we are creating exact copy of this items into this another items copy object you can say that array because that is an array so now whatever is there in this items array that is also here in this items copy all right now we have to get the index of the item which we are passing from our child component so let's get the index so const index is equal to so now we have our main array as items copy so we have find index method so here we have to pass on what basis you need to get that index so from this item we can get item dot id is equal to item dot id so by doing that we get the index of that particular item which we passed from our child component so now let's change the checked property not id if item dot checked equal equal true then let's copy this items copy index let's go to that particular item dot checked equal true and else false okay so now we have updated that newly created array based on that item we are getting from the child component if that is checked true then we are marking that particular index so that particular item check property as true else false all right now here we have to update our state so set items if you see here we have set items method so set items and let's pass this items copy done let's save this now let's try to update this so as i select this three third option the sum is 13 if i again check this 15 16 if i uncheck as you can see we are successfully able to achieve our third step also so what we have done here basically we have done and if you see i have written these four lines but we can also simplify this so let's copy this item here and pass this property and let's remove these also now let's try again yeah that is working perfect so what is the main point for this particular exercise to remember that we don't need to or we don't need to update that actual state we have to create a copy of our existing state and we have to do our modification in that copy of our actual state so don't update your state directly otherwise you will get bad results or if you are given an interview maybe you will get rejected all right so we have successfully updated all the steps so the one the iterating the list using our actual list that is item second we have to display some of all the checked items which we have done first we have filter out all the checked items then we have applied reduce third we have to update state based on our items copy which is exact copy of our actual items all right so this is about today's video i hope you got some important points about this react exercise all right so i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching take care bye bye